Hello and welcome back to the PTZ Optics Computer Programming for Robotics Cameras course. Now in this course, we're going to be using GitHub quite frequently and I think we need to talk about just the basics of getting the source code and using GitHub properly. Let's get started. So let's talk a little bit about GitHub. Uh, GitHub is a great platform for social coding, okay? It's kind of like social media for uh, programmers and it has really been designed to make collaboration and your online experience with accessing source code and working with it in a social platform specifically easier to do and you might find that you'll be much more productive looking at what other people have done on github whether they've forked a existing repo of projects or maybe they have simply branched off of a existing repo of source code, a repository of source code, and they're starting to experiment and change things. And you can go ahead and look in and comment and ask what's going on and see the changes that programmers and coders are making as they improve their projects. So this is gonna be great for everyone to see what other robotics clubs and computer programmers are doing with PTZ robotic cameras uh, in one great social website. So it's one of the biggest uh, repos, right? Uh, repositories of source code in the world. And GitHub enables sequential and chronological logging of changes to source code. So that's called version control. And so if we have a known working version, which PTZ Optics has published well-documented projects that you can go ahead and get started with, that's, think of that as a base source code that is known to work. And you can fork your own project from there and start there and change it and adapt it and do all these great things with it onto your own account. And then from there, just to safely manage your known working source code, you can branch out and have a safe place to experiment. So I just explained to you the difference between branching code and forking code, okay? So you can fork someone else's code Bring it onto your own safe coding area. And then, of course, you can branch your own code and start to experiment from a known, a known working place. So this is a great way to do it. You are going to need to get your own GitHub account. Highly recommend doing that and uh, working from some really great source code that's available. Now, interestingly enough, GitHub in 2018, just a year ago, was ranked the world's largest repository of source code. So this is a really exciting time to be a computer programmer because we have access to so much great open source code in a way that it just really transforms the ability to collaborate and learn in an online platform like this. Now, finally, you are going to need to start a GitHub account. You can go to github.com slash join. Uh, just fill out a very simple form and prove that you are a human and you can go ahead and get started. So it's time to go ahead and check out the PTZ Optics code where you can download an entire zip file of the code and start working it on your local computer or learn how to use GitHub and fork your own version of this code. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the Coding Dojo. Are you guys ready to get started? We're going to go ahead and take a look at GitHub and learn how to use it. So let's jump right in. Here we go. So you can see that I am at github.com slash PTZ Optics. Okay. So we'll take this full screen and I'll show you around the GitHub interface. So here we are github.com slash ptz optics one of the great things about social coding and the github platform is that you can follow the companies and projects that you're most interested the creators the, the coders out there and i highly suggest hitting that follow button so you can stay informed about all the new projects that we're posting as of right now we have an obs plugin which is done in c plus plus we have a javascript program which is a ptz optics node server but most importantly, we have our robotics research, learning, and support program. And that's what we're going to dig into. So you can see we have three repositories, and each one of those is a repository. And so you can go ahead and star 
the robotics learning program, which will kind of keep you involved and updated on everything that's going on. So because this is a complete repository, we can go in and you'll see that there's a readme file immediately explaining everything you need to know about this. So we have a little grant program that we offer in here that is all about the uh, robotics and research learning support program here. Tells you a little bit about it. And inside we can go further and we can see that there is a Node.js package and a Python package. So those are the two that you have access to. Now keep in mind when we're at the top level here, you can go ahead and download this entire project. So you can use it with Git, which is an application that you can download that allows you to manage all of your Git um, area uh, stuff, or you can just download the zip right there. Boom, we just downloaded the entire file. And just to give you an idea here, this file, I believe is only, well, it's only about 20 or 30 megabytes. It's really small. So we can go in here and we're gonna go look at the node file first. So now you can see the node area here has its own readme file, okay? And these are some of the prerequisites that we're gonna be going over in our node.js area. But this area here is gonna walk you through how to set up and use the Node.js. So these readme files have been written specifically with links, giving you the ability to get everything you need to get started right there. So that's the Node.js. And then we have the Python. And you can see it's got its own readme file there with all of the Python. Now really quickly, you can see here that we can go ahead and fork our own project, our own fork of this account. Now we're forking the PTZ Optics Robotics Learning. That's what I highly suggest that you do. So we've actually created, now I have created under my own account. You can see I'm logged in under my own personal account here, my own fork of this project. So now this project is under my account and I can go ahead and start playing around with it. So now that I've forked it, I can go in here and actually make changes as I so like. Now you can see this is a branch with even with PTZ Optics as the master. And we can compare, now this, this is completely the same, there isn't anything to compare because they're both identical. But as I start making changes, let's say I make a small change to the app. And again, while we're in here, let me show you that right here, these documents are well, there's well documented with comments in between. So if I just change a little bit of the comment, here we are changing we're adding dependencies and clearing variables to them. I can code right inside GitHub. Small change, just a test. All right, just wanted to do a small change there. Nothing crazy. And then we can actually talk about what was the, the change. Added sample documentation, just an example, commit change, boom. Well, that's not going to change anything to the operation of the app because I just added a small bit of comments. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. You can change all kinds of things in here. And now we can see that our project has been changed slightly. And we have two contributors, PTZ Optics as the base contributor and myself. I have now contributed ever so slightly to this. And we can see the history here shows exactly what's been said. So this is just a very simple, easy way to manage social coding and branch your own. So you can see the little fork there. Now we have forked this project. So that just gives you an idea of how it all works. I'm going to follow PTZ Optics. And as PTZ Optics manages our own repositories of open source code that are available to you, you will get updates. And as you fork your own projects, you can decide whether you'd like to branch off on your own or continue to use the code that we offer. So that gives you just a little idea of how to use GitHub. Go ahead over here, get into the robotics research and learning program, fork your own project or download the source code to work on your own project because that's what we're going to do in just a minute here. We're going to dig into the code and set up our node.js runtime, JavaScript runtime environment. And then we're gonna set up a Python environment as well and show how these 
open source computer programming languages work with robotic cameras. All that is coming up next. Thanks for coding with me, guys.